There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge because of all the populous trees which grow there. This is where we're from. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. We're glad you stopped by. In this episode, we finish our sauna build by fabricating our trim pieces from the tongue and groove cedar we had left over from the walls, and we build a unique floating corner bench. This project took over a year from start to finish because timing just happened to fall during a global pandemic. So it's exciting to finally have this cute little sauna in the woods completely finished. As mentioned, we completed almost all of this with leftover materials, so we had to cut the tongues and grooves off and then rip these planks into two inch strips for the trim pieces. The only cedar we purchased for this final portion of the sauna build was one 2x4 that we needed for the corner bench. Several of our viewers both noticed and asked why we didn't show much of our shiplap install. And unfortunately, the answer to that is because we experienced some technology difficulties and lost quite a bit of footage of the shiplap install and the build out of our door jams for the sauna. Ugh. Oh well. Lesson learned. To trim out the corners vertically, we cut thin three quarters inch square strips. These really finished out the corners nicely and we really like how this turned out. The original plan was for the corner bench to have legs underneath for support, but as we looked at the position of the wall studs in that corner, we felt there would be sufficient structural integrity to get by without the legs and allow for this floating bench design. We started by constructing a large triangle out of the cedar 2x4. This was then screwed into the studs on both corner walls. So because it's in the corner, the front of the pieces were cut at an angle, so we decided to pre-drill holes to prevent any cracking through these angled cut ends when the pieces were screwed in. Next, because we decided to forego placing legs under the bench, we added one additional support bracket in the middle. These back screws had to be toenailed in at an angle, which was a little awkward to do, but it worked well and the resulting frame is very stable. Then the seat slats were cut and placed. And we made a decorative trim piece across the front to hide the frame, giving the appearance of the floating bench. Our last piece of trim was that thin strip in the vertical corner because we had to build the bench before that piece was placed. I 
I did get a chance to drag a few logs out of the woods. Snow was still almost knee deep, but it was passable and we have something to mill. Since we're caught in a snow squall, might as well fire up that sauna stove. Fresh snowfall sure is beautiful though, isn't it? If you have questions, please email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com, or flip plop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll finally get to mill our first full log. If you followed our previous videos, so far we've only milled cants that were made with a chainsaw mill last year, so we have yet to throw an actual log on our Woodland Mill sawmill, so we're pretty excited about that. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate your views. If you enjoyed this video and want to follow our journey, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a Popple People too. We'll catch you next time. Bye.